Hey guys, this is Chris, aka Ghost Hacked, up here in Ottawa, Canada. What you are looking at is some contraption that I built last year, uh, basically because I wanted to find out what was in the air in terms of contrails or contrails, stuff like that. So, figured out uh, how to build one of these things, and well, I don't, I didn't get any plans online. I just kind of thought of it myself, but really, it isn't that difficult to really conceive. Anyways, we just got a typical uh, air intake or exhaust for a dryer or for the top of the house. Uh, galvanized steel with a galvanized steel uh, tube. So that's about 8 or 10 inches long. <laughs> that's what she said. Whatever. Uh, then I got just a little plastic jar with a button so we have a little 9 volt battery in there uh, my buddy helped me with this and thought of that so we connected it to a little computer fan so just turn it on and ah. so, it's rubbing up against something but you know it is version 1 it's not perfect uh, but basically, if um, if you're a, you can get a kind of a concentrated uh, sample by putting some kind of HEPA filter in here, and uh, kind of give you an idea how much air it's sucking in. So it's just a basic computer fan uh, modified. Well, not really modified, but hooked up to a little switch which uh, has a 9 volt battery in it. And yeah, just put some kind of filter in there. Check out when uh, you got a nice chemi day, you can put this outside and uh, take a good sample of it. Let it run for a couple hours or overnight or who knows. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what else to call it. Maybe what, Chembuster 6000? Peace.